The documents released today by the Boynton Beach Police Department really give you a better idea as to why this shooting happened. The video they released leave, leaves no doubt at all as to what happened. And as for that video, while we are not going to show you the most graphic parts of it, I want to warn you, some people still may find it disturbing. The video begins as Yuli Solano is walking her dog inside the Inlet Harbor community in Boynton Beach. It's about 8 a.m. October 12th. Solano's ex-boyfriend, Palm Beach County Sheriff's Deputy Michael DeMarco, has been waiting for her. There's no audio here, but you don't need it to see just how frightened Solano is. DeMarco has pulled his gun. And this is where we freeze the video because this is where DeMarco shot Solano three times before shooting himself. Solano survived. DeMarco did not. This video is just part of the evidence released by the Boynton Beach Police on Friday. They also made public hundreds of documents from their investigation, including a synopsis of a hospital interview with Solano, where she told police she had recently broken up with DeMarco and he had filed a lawsuit against her, trying to reclaim furniture he had bought when they were together. Solano says she had to block DeMarco on her phone, quote, because of repeated phone calls and text messages that were getting increasingly nasty. Solano told police when DeMarco got out of his car on that morning, he said, quote, you're not talking to me. You treat me worse than a dog. And then he shot her. Police documents also reference another deputy who says DeMarco called her that same morning and asked her to back him up at an eviction at 930. She says DeMarco did not appear to be stressed and she was the one that ended the conversation and it wasn't him rushing to end the conversation. About one minute after that conversation ended, DeMarco got out of his car, shot Solano and committed suicide. And Solano also told investigators that she had considered getting a restraining order against De DeMarco, but she decided against it because he was a police officer and she was afraid of retaliation. Reporting live, Ari Hyde, WPBF 25 News.